The skies over northwest China have just witnessed a pivotal moment in the history of military aviation. Far away from the glare of international media, a large unmanned aircraft took to the air. This was not a standard test flight. This was the maiden flight of the CH-7. According to an exclusive report by the Global Times, citing the 11th Academy of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, or CASC, this advanced drone has successfully completed its first flight. For military observers around the world, this is a significant signal. It means the CH-7 has graduated from being a static model displayed at air shows to a real functioning machine. It has now officially entered the critical phase of flight testing. Let's talk about what makes this machine so unique. If you look at the CH-7, the first thing you notice is what is missing. It has no tail. The aircraft uses a flying wing configuration. It looks like a giant, sleek wing floating alone in the sky. Li Jianhua, a senior expert at CASC, explains that this shape was chosen for a very specific reason, stealth. By eliminating the tail and blending the wings into the body, the aircraft becomes incredibly difficult for radar to detect. It is designed to fly high, stay in the air for a long time, and penetrate enemy airspace without being seen. However, achieving this is extremely difficult. Traditional airplanes rely on a vertical tail fin to keep them stable, much like the fin on a fish. Without it, an aircraft is naturally unstable. It wants to flip and roll uncontrollably. Li Jianhua noted that the maiden flight of the CH-7 carried significantly higher risks than tests for standard drones. The challenge lies in the control system. Since the plane cannot stabilize itself naturally, the onboard computer must do the work. It has to think thousands of times faster than a human pilot constantly adjusting the flaps to keep the aircraft level. The success of this first flight proves a crucial point. The complex algorithms and flight control systems developed by Chinese engineers have successfully tamed the instability of the flying wing design. During the test, the CH-7 demonstrated full autonomy. It taxied on the runway, took off, maintained its attitude in the air, and landed smoothly. The developer stated that the real-world performance perfectly matched their computer simulations. But this is just the beginning. This flight only tested the basic characteristics of the aircraft. In the coming months, the team will push the CH-7 to its limits, testing its maximum range and the functionality of its electronic systems. Physically, the CH-7 is a masterpiece of stealth engineering. The public got a glimpse of the real airframe at Airshow China 2024 in Zhuhai. Observers noticed several clever design choices. The air intake for the jet engine is located on the top of the fuselage. This is a strategic decision. Most air defense radars are located on the ground, looking up. By placing the intake on top, the engine blades, which are highly reflective to radar, are hidden from below. The belly of the aircraft remains smooth and flat. Furthermore, the engine exhaust uses a semi-concealed design. This helps to cool down the hot gas coming out of the engine before it mixes with the outside air. It reduces the aircraft's heat signature, making it much harder for infrared sensors and heat-seeking missiles to lock onto it. The Global Times reported that the stealth measures go down to the smallest detail. The leading edges of the wings are coated with radar-absorbing materials. Even the landing gear doors and the screws on the axis panels are treated to ensure they do not reflect radar waves. This gives the CH-7 low absorbability. It means it can operate comfortably in areas where the threat level is low. But more importantly, it is built for symmetric warfare, conflicts against technologically advanced enemies with dense air defense networks. So, what is the actual mission of this aircraft? Based on demonstration animations shown at the airshow, the CH-7 is a strategic scout and a data node. Imagine a scenario over a vast ocean. The CH-7 uses its efficient wings to patrol for hours without fatigue. 
its onboard radar can scan the sea and the air, detecting large targets like enemy destroyers or aircraft carriers from a safe distance. Once it finds a target, the CH-7 doesn't necessarily have to attack it directly. Instead, it acts as a silent messenger. It relays the target's coordinates back to a command center in the rear. This data is then used to guide long-range missiles launched from other platforms, such as ground-based launchers, ships, or bombers operating in a safe zone. The CH-7 can even provide mid-course guidance to the missile, or terminal guidance to ensure the weapon hits the most vital part of the ship. It does all of this while remaining undetected, hovering silently in the airspace. Experts speaking to the Global Times highlighted that this capability significantly enhances informatized combat effectiveness. It allows the military to conduct precision strikes at long ranges while keeping their main forces out of danger. However, it is important to clarify a common misconception about its role. Many people assume that advanced drones like this will act as loyal wingmen, flying side by side with fighter jets in dogfights. Chinese experts suggest otherwise. Judging by its aerodynamic design, which prioritizes endurance and stealth over raw power, the CH-7 is relatively slower than a supersonic fighter jet. It is unlikely to serve as a close combat support drone. Instead, its role is that of a pioneer. The CH-7 is expected to be deployed ahead of time. Before the fighter jets or the main fleet arrive, the CH-7 will already be there. It will slip into the combat zone early. It will map out enemy radar positions, conduct surveillance, and identify threats. Because of its high endurance, it can loiter over the target area for prolonged periods, waiting for the perfect moment to send targeting data. This development signals a shift in modern warfare. The focus is moving away from just having the biggest explosion to having the best information. The ability to see without being seen and to strike without revealing your location is the ultimate advantage. The maiden flight in northwest China is just a first step. The engineers still have a long road of testing ahead to verify the payload functionality and flight limits. But the foundation has been set. The CH-7 demonstrates that stealth technology is no longer the monopoly of a single superpower. It is becoming a mature tool of war, ready to be deployed. In the end, the story of the CH-7 teaches us a valuable lesson about the nature of future conflicts. Sometimes true power isn't about who has the largest weapon, but who is most ready to adapt and evolve. Those who control the information will control the battlefield.